وہی یہ تفرقہ نمبر فور یو نو طلاق سیپریشن اب غزل حلال درج حدیث دی پروفٹ سیڈ ان اب غزل حلال ان اللہ طلاق دی ورسٹ امنگ دی حلال تھنگس دی موسٹ ہیٹڈ بائی اللہ سبحان و تعالی بٹ اٹ از حلال آلو اٹ از حلال اٹ از ویری ہیٹ فل ان دی آئی اف اللہ اب غزل حلال ان اللہ طلاق But if a wife and a husband, they are not living properly. They have tried all the means to reconcile to each other. But you know, they have absolutely different temperaments, different priorities. So they can't, they are incompatible, so to say, with each other. So now it's no use keeping them together. The, the house, you know, the family will not have the peace which is required. That love. which is required so actually then it is better to separate this aya is encouraging separation and divorce please note it and this is the balance in divine law something is very bad very bad very bad but permissible and in certain condition it becomes desirable you must try your best to maintain this relationship of marriage but if you know after all the methods that you have tried of reconciliation you have failed that is better to separate wahi yatafarraqa and if they separate yughni allah kullam min saatihi allah will provide each one from his abundance now maybe that allah gives this woman a better husband with whom he can she can live in a better way and allah will provide to this male also to this to this husband also a better wife which is more compatible in her manners and ways with this with this person so that is in yatafarraqa if they decide to separate yughni allah kullam min saatihi wa kana allah wasi'an hakima and allah is all accommodating allah's prayers they are not limited he can produce a better wife for you provide a better five wife for you and a better husband for her kan allah wasian alim and hakim and he is all wise walillahi ma fis samawati wa ma fil ard again you must know everything belongs to him not to you not to anybody else to allah belongs everything all the things which are in the heavens or in the earth wa laqad wasaina alladhina utul kitaba min qablikum and we had advised and admonished those also who were given the book before you o muslims wa iyakum and we are advising you also anittaqullah that have taqwa of allah you know all these rules and regulations and do's and don'ts will go in vain if there is no taqwa men men will play with the rules this happens law you know can be made an article of play a game but if you have real taqwa then these instructions will be beneficial see the wordings walillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard wa laqad wasaina alladhina utu al-kitaba min qablikum wa iyyakum an ittaqu llah we advise them also and we are advising you also they were the former muslim ummah now you are the muslim ummah they were the representatives of allah on earth and now you are occupying the same position so we admonish them also and we are admonishing you also anittaqullah wa in takfuru fa inna lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard now here kufr doesn't mean unbelieving here kufr is as opposed to shukr if you act thanklessly we have given you this position if you are not grateful or if you disregard allah subhanahu wa taala fa inna lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al ard what harm can you do to allah by disregarding him or disregarding his laws and of sharia to him belongs all the things which are in the heavens and in the, in the earth wa kana allah ghaniyan hamida and allah subhanahu wa taala is self sufficient he needs none he needs nothing wa hamida hamida he is praiseworthy He doesn't need any praise. He is the praised one himself. 
to the orphans or to the weaker elements of the society don't think you will go scot free you will have to you know face the grand accountability of the day of judgment walillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi ardi wa kafa billahi wakila in yasha yuzhibkum ayyuhan nas if allah pleases he can finish you o oh mankind wa yati the akhirin he can bring another creation he created you he can create any other creation don't think that the creative activity of allah has come to an end now he cannot create any other creature although he has raised you to a very high pinnacle very high position ashraful makhluqat wa laqad karramna bani adam wa hamalnahum fil barr wal bah وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْ لَهُمْ عَلَىٰ كَسِرِ مِمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَفْضِيلًا We have given you all that positions. But don't think we can finish with you all of you. And we can bring another creation. وَإِنْ يَشَاءْ يُذْهِبْكَ أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ وَيَعْتِ بِآخَرِينَ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ ذَلِكَ قَدِيرًا Allah is verily, Allah is powerful enough to do it. مَنْ كَانَ يُرِيدُ سَوَابَ الدُّنْيَا فَعِنْدَ اللَّهِ سَوَابُ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَ very beautiful whosoever has decided only to get the reward in this world woe to him allah subhanahu wa taala has both the things the reward of this world also and akhirah also tu hi nada chand kaliyon par qanaat kar gaya warna gulshan mein ilaaj e tangi e dama bhi tha you have limited yourself to this world the gains of this world the comforts of this world the luxuries of this world the fame of this world the power of this world and there is nothing as compared to akhirah wa mal hayatu dunya fil akhirati illa qalil so it's a very beautiful way of exhortation why have you confined yourself man kana yuridu sawab ad dunya fa inna allah sawab ad dunya wal akhirah wa kana allah samiyan basira and verily allah subhanahu wa taala is ever listening ever seeing nothing is hidden from his eyes now the last ayah is very profound here you know this section is ending the address to the muslims again we shall find the address towards munafiqoon from ayah number 136 but this ayah is most profound this discourse address to the muslims ending with this ayah يا ايها الذين امنوا كونوا قوامين بالقسط شهداء لله او يو هو بروفيس تو بيليف او يو هو بيليف ستاند اب فور الله سبحانه وتعالى قوامين بالقسط قام بي اي سيد تو استابليش سم ثينغ قوامين بالقسط استابليشينغ جاستس ان ذس وورلد جاست سوشيال اوردر تو بي استابليش all types of injustice and cruelty and exploitation to be done away with and this is your duty we have made you the best ummah ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kunu qawwamin bil qist shuhada lillah you should become witnesses for for allah you know jehovah's witnesses a very good term jehovah this is the name for allah subhanahu wa taala witnesses of allah And actually, we are the witnesses for Allah. Shahada lil nas, wa kazaale ka jaal na kum ummatam wasatul li takunu shahada al al nas wa takun yakun al rasul alaykum shahida. So be witnesses for Allah. Now witness, you know, very beautiful. Please understand. Whenever you are testifying in any case, in any dispute, your testimony is going against one party in favor of the other party, or against this party, then. naturally it is in favor of the other against the other 
सो वी हैव विद विटनेस आइदर लाम और आला शाहेदा लहू ही टेस्टिफाइड इन हिज फेवर शाहेदा अल है ही टेस्टिफाइड अगेंस्ट हिम शाहेदा लहू और शाहेदा अल जस्ट एज वी हैव इन हदीस अल कुरान Quran is an argument either in your favor or against you. Either it will intercede before Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Oh Allah, this bond man of yours loved me much. He read me. He pondered over me. He acted upon me. So accept my intercession for him. It is for you, and it can be against also. Oh Allah, this fellow, he professed that I am the book of Allah. He never read me, or recited me without understanding. Even a newspaper, he was not reading without understanding. But he was reciting me without understanding. So it will be a witness against you. Al Quran hujja tu laka walek. But we shall continue this discourse in the next session, inshallah. Akulu kali hada, mustaqfurullah li walakum walisaairil muslimin wal muslimat.